worship God and begin, we begin to reference his name in praises. We're lifting up our voice of thanksgiving to say, hallowed be your name, O Lord, to say, hallowed be your name, O Lord, to say, hallowed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be your name, oh Lord, we give you glory, blessed be your name, hallelujah, blessed be your name, oh, blessed be your name, oh Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Hallelujah, blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be your name. Oh, Lord, we give you glory. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah, blessed be your name. Oh, blessed be your name. Oh, Lord. Hallow be your name, hallow be your name, oh, hallow be your name, oh, hallow be your name, oh, Lord, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, oh, Lord, hallow be your name, Jesus. Hallow be your name, O oh Lord. Hallow be your name, Lord. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name, O oh Lord. Hallow be your name, O oh Lord. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name, hallow be your name, oh, hallow be your name, oh, Lord. Hallow be your name, Lord, hallow be your name, oh, Lord, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, oh, Lord. Hallow be your name, hallow be your name, hallelujah, hallow be your name, oh, hallow be your name, oh, Lord, praise is to your name, Lord, praise is to your name, hallelujah, praise is to your name, oh, Lord, praise is to your name. Oh Lord, praise is to your name, praise is to your name, hallelujah, praise is to your name, praise is to your name, oh Lord, hallow be your name, Lord, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, hallow be your name, hallow. Be your name, oh Lord. Hallow be your name, hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name, oh Lord. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. Give thanks. To the Holy One, give thanks, for he has given Jesus Christ. And so, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. 
We give thanks. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We are standing here, Lord, on behalf of African nations. We are standing in your presence, Lord, to seek for your help. We are standing here, O oh Lord, to cry our hearts unto you on behalf of African nations. Father, we stand in awe of you. We want to bless and magnify your name for what you are doing in all the African nations. We thank you for the nations in West Africa. We thank you for the nations in North Africa. We thank you for the nations in East Africa. We thank you for the nations in South Africa. Father, for all the nations that you have created for your pleasure. Lord, we say we hallowed be your name. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. We declare rejoice, O you nations. We rejoice, O Lord. We rejoice, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The words, the Bible says in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Lord, and so Lord, tonight we come into your presence with an attitude of thanksgiving. We are grateful. We are grateful. Your word have instructed us to give you thanks in everything. It does not matter what, what we are seeing. It does not matter what is happening. It does not matter what is not happening. Father, we just return and say thank you for it is written that in everything we should give you thanks. Father, we give you thanks over all the nations in Africa. We give you thanks. We appreciate you, Lord. We say thank you. We rejoice in you. We thank you because you have not created nations in Africa to abandon those nations. Father, we return to say, blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, the lily of the valley. Father, we worship you. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you on behalf of all the African nations. Thank you for creating this nation for your pleasure. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for your mandate over all the African nations. Father, we thank you. Your mandates concerning African nations cannot be changed by situations or circumstances because your counsel will always stand. Father, we are grateful. We thank you. 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 We thank you, our Lord and our Savior. We return all the glory and honor unto you. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things that, you, that is in African nations. Thank you for the mineral resources. Thank you for the tourist centers. Thank you for agricultural products. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for all the good things in African nations. Father, we return today to say we are grateful. Thank you for sending Jesus to the world to die for the reconciliation of African nations and all other nations back unto you. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for the peace that we enjoy despite every unpleasant situations in Africa and nations. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you have allowed, for the things you have allowed us to go through in African nations to make the best out of us. Father, we are grateful for those things you have allowed us to go through to make the best out of us. Father, we are grateful on behalf of African nations. We say, hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Hallow be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the diversity of culture in Africa. Thank you for the people. Thank you for different languages. Thank you, Lord God, because you have created all this to show forth your greatness in all African nations. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Father. Father, we are grateful for the faithful watchmen, for the faithful watchwomen that you have raised in time past over the years, those that you are raising presently, those that you will still raise, those that you have raised to labor in place of prayer over nations. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for all the missionaries you sent to African nations. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for spiritual enlightenment. Thank you for revival. Thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you, almighty. Thank you for wisdom, for talents, for gifts. 
thank you for skills that you have deposited in the citizens of the nations in Africa. We are grateful. Father, we are grateful. We rejoice, Father. We say thank you because you have instructed us that in everything we should give you thanks. And so, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Thank you for your mercy, your mercy that have kept away your judgment over African nations. Merciful Father, righteous Father, heavenly Father, just Father, we are grateful for your mercy, for your mercy that has kept away judgment over African nations. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you for all the prayers you have answered up till date. Thank you for prayers you have not answered. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the souls of men and women that you have invested in the nations of Africa. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Almighty, for intelligent men, for creative men and women in Africa. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for those men and women that has the kingdom of God in their heart. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We will not be weary. We will not be tired. We put our faith in you. It does not matter what is happening. We hold on to faith. We hold on to your word. We hold on to you, Lord. You are a good God, the creator of heaven and earth. Thank you, almighty Father. Your word in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 11 says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, to receive honor, to receive power. For thou hast created all things, and for, the, for thy pleasures they are and were created. You created all things for thy pleasure, and they are and were created. Father, we thank you. You created all this nation for your pleasure. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of law. Father, we return all the glory unto you. We bless and magnify your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked him. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen in Jesus' name. We're still praying for Africa. We're just, we just, we just, we, we, we're still praying for Africa. Hallelujah. This time around, we're going to pray for forgiveness of sin. We're going to ask God to forgive all our iniquities. Whatever has not allowed God to hear us, whatever every sin in our lives that is, that is, that is not aligned the manifestation of God's purpose to come to pass in African nations. Father, we ask for forgiveness of sin. The Bible speaking, it says sin is a reproach unto a nation. And we have seen the consequences of sin. The consequences of sin are so enormous. Ah, according to the scripture, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25 says, Your iniquities have torn away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. These are the consequences of sin, consequences of national sin, continental sin, consequences of sins are so enormous. And according to Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25, it says, your iniquities have torn away these things, and your sins are withholding good things from you. Ah, we're going to cry unto God this, this night. We're going to cry unto God every sin, every national sin in every country represented in African nation. I'm going to use Nigeria as a point of contact. Hallelujah. For God has not created African nations to abandon them in sin. And that's why Jesus came and he shed his blood to reconcile us back to the Father because we are created to give him pleasure. Anything in, in African nations, especially in Nigeria, that is not giving pleasure to God, we're going to ask God for forgiveness. According to that word, he says, See, is your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. What are the good things that has been withholding from African nations, especially in Nigeria? Tonight, we're going to hold on to the blood sacrifice. We're going to hold on to the eternal blood covenant. And we're going to cry that the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed for atonement for our sin, that blood was shed for our nations, that that blood will speak and answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so that our land in African and nations 
do not become desolate. Ah, Lord, we are, we are crying tonight. Have mercy on us. Forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord. Enough of death, enough of devourers, enough of our works of oppressors. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Our iniquities have withhold good things. Ah, Lord, be merciful to us. Forgive us of all our sins. Heal our nation. 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 We declare the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Come and deliver. The blood of Jesus. Come and deliver. Let the blood of Jesus deliver African nations. Let the blood of Jesus deliver Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Every sin that has withheld in good things from Nigeria. Father, let the blood of Jesus so let the blood of Jesus come bring forgiveness to all our sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we have done that we ought not to do, Lord, have mercy. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Have mercy over your nations. You created all these nations for your pleasure. Father, any nation in Africa that is not giving you pleasure because of sin. Father, tonight we cry, oh Lord, we cry for repentance. We cry for forgiveness. We repent of all our wrongdoings in the name of Jesus Christ. We repent of all our wrongdoings in the name of Jesus. Father, we cry unto you, have mercy. We confess our sins. We repent of every ungodliness. In any way, we have contributed to the problem of African nations as an individual, as a family, as a government. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Forgive us, Lord, oh, Lord. Forgive us, oh, Lord. Forgive us, oh, Lord. We confess of all the sins of bloodshed, all the sins of unrighteousness, all the sins of ungodliness every sin of life, every sin of corruption, every sin of wickedness. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Forgive us of all our sins. We repent of all our sins. We repent of any way we have contributed to the problem that is going on in Nigeria as an individual, as a family, as a body of Christ. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Your word in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 13, 14 says, if I shut up, if I shut up heaven and there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal the land. Father, we are crying tonight for healing of our nations healing of African nations, using Nigeria as a point of contact. Father, we cry, oh Lord. Father, we ask for forgiveness. Father, we ask for forgiveness. We are the people that you have called by your name. We are the people that you have called by your name. Father, we humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves before you. We seek your face tonight. We seek your face daily. We pray, oh Lord. We pray, oh Lord, that you will show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we receive grace to turn away from all wicked ways. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you will hear us from heaven. Father, attend to the voice of our cry. Attend to the voice of our cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear us, O Lord, and attend to the voice of our cry. In the name of Jesus, forgive all our sins. Forgive all our wrongdoings. Forgive all our trespasses. In the name of Jesus, every foundation has sin. Every foundational sin, every territorial sin, every unknowing, unknownly sin, knowingly and unknownly sin, Lord, have mercy. Lord, ask, have mercy. Forgive us of all our sins, O oh Lord. Heal our land. Heal our land. Heal our land. Heal our land. Heal the land of Nigeria. Heal the land of Ghana. Heal the land of Syria. Lord. Heal the land of Zimbabwe. Heal the land of Egypt. Heal all African land, African nations. Father, heal our land. Stretch forth your mighty hand to deliver and to set us free and to heal our land. Father, we cry unto you. Heal our land, O Lord. Heal our land, O Lord. 
we cry unto you. We ask for forgiveness of sin. We repent of any way that we have contributed to the problem that is happening right now, to the problem of, the, of, of nations. Father, ask mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Let your ears be open unto us. Let your ears be open unto us. Let your eyes be open unto us. In the name of Jesus, let your eyes be open unto us. Let your ears hear, hear the voice of our cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. Enough of desolation. Enough of death in the land. Enough of terrorism in the land. Enough of corruption in the land. Enough of famine in the land. Enough of lack in the land. Enough of poverty in the land. Father, we ask, O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, you promised you would deliver us as we, we humble ourselves before you. Father, tonight we stand in gap for all the believers in all the nations of Africa, using Nigeria as a point of contact, the Lord God of heaven and earth, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. We humble ourselves, we repent of every wicked ways. We receive grace to repent of every wicked ways in the name of Jesus Christ. We confess every sin of disobedience, every sin of rebellion. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, forgive us. Oh Lord, forgive us. Show us your mercy, show us your mercy, show us your mercy. Every sin of kidnapping, every sin of bloodshed, every sin of assassination, every sin of ritual killing. Father, forgive, O oh Lord, and have mercy. Forgive, O oh Lord, and have mercy. Forgive, O oh Lord, and have mercy. Every sin of idolatry worship, every sin of idolatry worship, Lord, have mercy. Forgive, O oh Lord, forgive, O oh Lord, every sin of witchcraft practices in African nations. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Every sins of all form of wickedness. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus. We repent, O oh Lord. We repent, O oh Lord. In any way, we have contributed to the problem right now in Nigeria. Father, have mercy. 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 We repent of every form of corruption. Lord, be merciful. Father, please forgive us. Father, please forgive us. Father, please forgive us. Father, please forgive us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we confess and repent of every form of oppression, every form of oppression in the nation of Nigeria and in African nations. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Every, every sin of injustice, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Every sin of unjust gain, every sin of corruption, Lord, have mercy. Jehovah, have mercy. Jehovah, have mercy. Oh, on behalf of the leaders, oh Lord, we cry for your mercy. We cry for forgiveness of sin, sin of greed, sin of confessiousness. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Sin of selfishness, sin of waste, sin of money politics. Ah, in Nigeria especially, Lord, have mercy. Sin of stealing, sin of robbery, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sin of indiscipline, lawlessness, rebellion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Forgive, O oh Lord. Have mercy. In any way we have contributed to the problem in Nigeria, forgive and have mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. On behalf of all the fathers in the nation of Nigeria, on behalf of all the mothers in the nation of Nigeria, on behalf of all the children, the youth, the teenager, the adults, the young ones in Nigeria. Father, we ask for forgiveness. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Forgive us of all our wrongdoings. Let the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed for the atonement for our sin, atone for us as a nation, atone for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we cry unto you, Lord, unto you, that you begin to release upon us taste for right things, a good task for right things, that we begin to long after good things. We begin to long after doing the right things. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy, remove the name of Nigeria nation and the nations of Africa from the register of sinful nation. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Your word says sin is a reproach unto nation. Father, tonight we bring lamentation over the reproach of the nations in Africa, over the reproach of the nation of Nigeria. Lord, have mercy. 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 Forgive, O oh Lord. Forgive, O oh Lord. Forgive, O oh Lord. Forgive, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. We bring lamentation against every activities of oppressors in Nigeria. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Upon this altar, we denounce every wicked altar, whatever be the wicked altar where they have dedicated Nigeria. Tonight, we bring the blood sacrifice. We bring the blood sacrifice as we pray for repentance, as we pray for forgiveness of sin. If there is any altar, if there is any altar that has become a pillar, erecting sin, erecting ungodliness in Nigeria, in African nations, Tonight, let it be raised down by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare you are Lord. Over Nigeria, you are Lord. Over African nations, you are Lord. Every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that you are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Over Nigeria, over African nations, Father, you are the Lord. King of glory, you are the Lord. We are the Lord. You are the Lord. We break any covenant. Any covenant made with any power that is not of God over the nation of Nigeria, let those covenants be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we declare Jesus, you will rule and reign in Nigeria. You will rule and reign in Nigeria. Holiness will be the order of the day. Righteousness will be the order of the day. Godliness will be the order of the day. Contentment will be the order of the day. Hard working will be the order of the day. Love, showing love and sharing will be the order of the day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, you are the Lord. We declare you are the Lord over Nigeria. You are the Lord over African nations. You are the Lord. Father, we say thank you. He is Lord. Thank you, Father. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, amen. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Father, we bind every unclean spirit. Every unclean spirit that have been assigned to trouble the nation of Nigeria, we bind it. We declare you are the Lord. We declare you are the Lord. We declare you are the Lord. Every spirit of rebellion, every spirit of every spirit of corruption, every spirit of stubbornness, every spirit of conversiousness, every spirit of sin, every spirit of spiritual blindness. Every spirit of strange, strange, strange altar, every spirit of spiritual drunkenness, every spirit of mammon in Nigeria, unjust gain in Nigeria, we bind it. Every spirit of corruption, we bind it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare it shall not stand, we declare it shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare you are the Lord over the nation of Nigeria, over all African nations. Every knee must bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Every knee must bow. In every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any agreement rich with any form of or any wickedness, any rule, any stubborn, stubborn pursuer of destinies of Nigeria, every covenant made with those stubborn powers, Tonight, oh Lord, let the blood of Jesus destroy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare you are the Lord over the nations of Africa, over Nigeria, 
from, 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 from every state to every city, we declare you are the Lord. From every city to every local government, we declare you are the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, begin to release upon Nigeria nation and all the states and all the cities and all men and women, all the inhabitants of Nigeria and all other nation, African nations. Let there be release of the spirit of righteousness. Let there be release of the spirit of obedience. Let there be release of the spirit of diligence in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be release of the spirit of righteousness, righteousness in Nigeria, in all other African nations, in the name of Jesus Christ, from one family to the other, to the political class, to even the, to, to even the believers, to the pastors, to the leaders, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be a release, O oh Lord, of the spirit of righteousness, of the spirit of obedience, diligence, holiness, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let faithfulness be the order of the day in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Let the fear of the Lord, let it rest upon the children, upon the youth, upon the fathers, upon the mothers, upon the leaders, upon the teenagers, upon church leaders, upon everyone, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Father, do what you alone can do. Let every evil altar, every evil gate, every spiritual, every spiritual, negative spiritual entering points for every form of wickedness in the nation of Nigeria, let it be shut down. Let it be shut down. Let it be raised down by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, do what you alone can do. Father, do what you alone can do. Glorify your name, O Lord. Glorify your name, O Lord. Magnify your name, O oh Lord. Magnify your name, O oh Lord. Do what you alone can do. Do what you alone can do. Father, let there be restoration back into African nations. Let there be restoration of glories in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration, O oh Lord. Let there be empowerment, both supernatural empowerment, both academic empowerment, empowerment on all sides in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of productivity, let it come upon African nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Do what you alone can do. Let crime rates reduce in Africa. Let crime rates reduce in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let national security be guaranteed in Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do what you alone can do. Do what you alone can do. Let there be advancement. Technologically, let there be advancement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Fast development in Nigeria and in all the other nations of Africa, in the name of Jesus. Father, bring an end to every evil spiritual driver, every evil spiritual driver that is driving the nation of Nigeria to, 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 to a profitless state. Father, let there be deliverance. Father, let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy unto the nation of Nigeria and all other African nations. Anointing of productivity, let it fall upon Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, let new things begin to spring forth. In the name of Jesus, take Nigeria to the season of quietness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let no good thing be withheld from the nation of Nigeria and all other African nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, let the flag of the nation of Nigeria be honored among other nations. Let the flag of the nations of Africa be honored in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do your own, do, do, let your counsel be established in the name of Jesus. We call forth Nigeria a new name. We call forth Nigeria a new name. We call forth African nation a new name in the name of Jesus. Let Nigeria arise to shine. Let nations in Africa arise to shine in the name of Jesus. Let the light of God rest upon the nations in Africa. Let the glory of God be seen upon Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, do what you, you, you alone can do in the name of Jesus. Let joy and gladness be the order of the day in the nation of Africa, especially in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, blessed be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. I'm going to another section now. In this section, we're going to declare the counsel of the Lord to stand. The counsel of the Lord to stand. I'm still using Nigeria as a point of contact. And we all know what is happening in Nigeria. 
I'm praying for all African nations, but I'm using Nigeria as a platform. Ah, tonight again, we are going to pray. We are moving to, we have moved to another section. And that section, we're going to declare that the counsel of the Lord shall stand. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. Concerning the nation of Nigeria, we will not be weary in prayers. We will not be tired. We will continue to pray until our change comes. Even when our positive change comes, we will still continue to pray in the name of Jesus. It does not matter what is happening. We are, we are, we are on the Lord's side. And the Lord is on our side. God did not create African nations, especially Nigeria. God did not create Nigeria to abandon it in the hand of the wicked ones. Not at all. God is still with us. God is with us. And so tonight, we, are, we, 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 will, we will hand over the nation of Nigeria unto God. And we will cry unto God, let the devices of men fail over Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. The Bible said, there are many devices in a man's heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. There are many devices, many devices in a man's heart, but nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. It is the Lord's counsel that will stand. Nigeria is a nation of giants. Nigeria is a nation of intelligent men and women. Nigeria is a nation that is full of creative men and women. And so all these human resources that God has embedded in the lives of Nigerian citizens and even in Nigeria as a nation cannot be wasted. It has a purpose and that purpose must come to pass. It is the counsel of God for Nigeria that will come to pass, not the devices of men. Every devices in the heart of men against the mandate and the counsel of God over Nigeria, it will fail woefully in the name of Jesus. We serve a God that knows the hand from the beginning. So what is happening right now in Nigeria? And as we all know, we are moving towards 2023. And can I say this? 2023 is just a chapter. It's just a chapter in the book of God's mandate for Nigeria. And 2023 will not end Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, year 2023 is just a chapter in the book of God's agenda for Nigeria. 2023 will not bury Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God knows the end from the beginning. God knows what is happening. There is nothing that is happening now that God does not know. And so God is in name. As we begin to cry unto God to allow his own counsel alone to stand, not the counsel of men. We are going to cry unto God. Ah, there are many devices concerning the upcoming election. We hear a lot of things going on, but we hold on to the mandate of God for Nigeria. The new Nigeria is coming forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there was a prophecy that was declared over Nigeria so many years ago by one of the, one of the generous, generous uh, our fathers in faith. I think late, late per Elton or so, he declared over Nigeria that a new Nigeria is coming forth, a new Nigeria of glory, a new Nigeria where, where Nigeria as a country will be a, will, will, will be a form of attraction to so many nations. And so we believe that it does not matter what is happening right now. God is turning things around for Nigeria and for the upcoming election. Only the counsel of God will stand. The devices of men will not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I want you to join me to declare God's purpose over Nigeria. It is the purpose of God that will stand. It is the purpose of God that will stand. Let's hand over Nigeria to God. Let's hand over Nigeria to God. The Lord God of heaven and earth. One more time, we thank you for the nation of Nigeria. We thank you for what you have done in the past. We thank you for what you are doing right now. We thank you for what you will yet do. We say, Lord, blessed be your name. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Mercy has availed for Nigeria. Mercy has kept Nigeria thus far. Father, we are grateful. Oh, so many things that you have done for us in Nigeria. Oh, Lord God of heaven and earth, it can only be you. Your mercy is indeed speaking over the nation of Nigeria. What Nigeria is going through now, if it were to be any other nation, that nation will have collapsed by now. 
but the hand of God is resting upon Nigeria. The right hand of God that dwelt brilliantly is upholding Nigeria. That right hand of God will bring Nigeria out of every, every bondage and take Nigeria into, a, into the land of promise in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. You have encouraged us in your word. You said in everything we should give you thanks. And so we return thanks unto you. We say, blessed be your name. Thank you for the nation of Nigeria. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your purpose. Thank you for the citizen. Thank you for all, the, all, all Nigerians, wherever they are, both home and abroad. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the leadership of Nigeria. Thank you for all, all the leaders in Nigeria. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to cry unto the Lord. Every device in the heart of men that are corrupt, that is against the mandate of God for the nation of Nigeria, let those devices fail woefully. We are going to pray unto God. Every device in the heart of men that are corrupt, let it be exposed and be disgraced. Every device in the heart of men that is set to bring shame and reproach unto the nation of Nigeria, let it be exposed and be disgraced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every device in the heart of men, in the heart of leaders, in the heart of political leaders that is that is that is that that wants to bring shame that wants to bring reproach onto Nigeria that want to in, increase the affliction and the pain people are going through in Nigeria let that devices fail in the name of Jesus Christ father exposed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let it be exposed let it be disgraced let it be exposed let it be disgraced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we're going to pray unto God the almighty counsel will stand. His counsel, the counsel of the Almighty will stand in Nigeria. We are going to cry unto the Lord as we hand over Nigeria unto the hand of the Lord. In the, the devices in the heart of men, we want to declare it shall not stand. That wicked devices, that wicked devices, that spirit of manipulation that is manipulating Nigerians, that wants to take Nigeria to a place of no return, to a place of desolation, that evil devices in the heart of political leaders that are bent to rule Nigeria by force, by tulasi. Lord, tonight terminate it. Let every devices in the heart of men, let it not stand. Let it not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it not stand. The devices in the heart of men that is not according to your mandate, oh Lord, that is not according to your purpose for the nation of Nigeria. Father, let it not stand. Let it not stand. Together, I join my faith with the faith of all our brethren on this platform and all intercessors praying for Nigeria day and night. We declare we uproot every devices of men, every devices of men that is not of God, that is against the counsel and the mandate of God for Nigeria. It is uprooted now. It is uprooted now. The Bible says, whatever my God has not planted shall be rooted out. Let every evil plantation, whatever the wickedness of the wicked, the devices of the crafty, the manipulators, the oppressors, the, 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 the ones intimidating Nigerians, whatever be their device, against the mandate of God for Nigeria, let it be uprooted. Every plant that my heavenly father has not planted, the word of the Lord says it shall be rooted up. Let it be rooted. Let it be rooted. We uproot it from the root. In the name of Jesus Christ, we uproot it. In the mighty name of Jesus, that devices of men that is not after the agenda of God for Nigeria, that is not according to the plan and purpose of God for Nigeria, come year 2023, you will not stand, you will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, we declare only the counsel of God will stand. 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 Of God will stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, we believe in the power of prayers. Pray, prayers changes things. Things cannot just change. Prayers changes things. Ha, Lord, as we cry unto you on behalf of Nigeria, Father, you will hear us. Father, you will hear us. Every counsel, every devices of men against your counsel, oh Lord, for the nation of Nigeria, it shall not stand. It will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. 
in the name of Jesus. Election is, is fast approaching. And we're telling God, on this platform, there was a time the Lord led us to pray for godly leaders. And the Lord opened our eyes to see the many, many versions of leaders. We have godly chosen leaders. We have visionary leaders. I remember a few months ago, we prayed about leaders, God electing the right leaders for us in Nigeria. We're going to repeat it again, and we're going to summarize everything. Oh, Lord, elect godly leaders for us, a leader after your own heart, a leader that is visionary, a leader that will take Nigeria to the promised land, a leader that will serve your purpose, a leader that will do according to your mandate. Father, we receive in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive we receive that man. We receive that woman. We receive that group of people. The people that are ready to serve. The people that are ready to serve. Servant leaders. Godly leaders. Choosing leaders. Visionary leaders. Not leaders that are that, 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 that not leaders that is ready to kill and drive the vehicle of Nigeria to a land of no return. We reject it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, elects for us godly leaders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your light shine over every darkness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, bring God to Nigeria. This time around, are your own chosen leaders. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I want to pray for every Christian, every Muslim, every man or woman outside there. Go and get your PVC according to what is being prescribed in Nigeria. Go and get your PVC so that you'll be able to vote. I pray for every eligible voter that you will vote her right in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing, no power, nothing will intimidate you. You will vote her right. You will vote according to the plan and purpose of God for those that God will raise to rule over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. You will choose the right leader. You will choose the godly leader. You will choose a leader after the heart of God. You will choose a visionary leader. You will choose a, a servant leader. Be a servant leader that is ready to serve, not those that are ready to serve the economy of Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will vote right. We will vote right in the name of Jesus. Nothing will intimidate us. Nothing will make us to be afraid. The Lord grant every eligible voter in Nigeria boldness. The Lord grant them courage. The Lord grant them wisdom. The Lord grant them strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit that time of election into the hand of the Lord. We release angels from God to take charge and to take over. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Father, choose a good leader for us. Choose godly leaders for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Choose godly leaders for us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Leaders that know the truth. Leaders that are set to do the right thing. Leaders that are set to do the right thing. Leaders that have vision. Leaders that have vision. Leaders that will drive Nigeria to the to his Canaan land. Father, we receive them wherever they are. Enough of wicked leaders. Enough of oppression, oppressors. Oh, Father. Take, choose for us. Choose the right people for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, choose the right people for us. Choose the right people for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, choose the right men and women for us. People that are ready, that are ready to serve, to serve humanity, to serve humanity. Father, choose them for us. People that godly leaders that are ready to take Nigeria out of that sinful position, to take Nigeria out of darkness. Nigeria is in a position of darkness, but I pray that darkness will not bury Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, choose godly leaders, O Lord, for us. Leaders that will make Nigeria to be a fruitful nation. Leaders that will take Nigeria out of the realm of fruitlessness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O Lord, choose a good leader for us. Choose a good leader for us. Leaders that will take Nigeria, that will make Nigeria to become a righteous nation, a holy nation, a nation of uh, uh, that is blessed in all things. Father, we receive them. There is hope over Nigeria. There is hope over Nigeria. For when God gives us the right set of people to rule over Nigeria, there will be there will be rest from every oppression. There will be rest from every oppression. There will be supernatural provision in the name of Jesus. Season of restoration will come. Season of plenty, season of plenty will come. Shame will be removed from Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be revival, economic revival, spiritual revival in the name of Jesus. There will be restoration of glory of Nigeria. Father, we receive godly leaders. 
Father, we receive godly leaders. Those leaders that will make Nigeria to flourish one more time. Those leaders that will make Nigeria to have no peace. Peace of God will be established. Security and stability will, 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 will fade away. In the name of Jesus, there will be peace on, in our borders. There will be peace in our borders. No more violence. No more destruction. No more bloodshed. As you give unto Nigeria, come year 2023, godly leaders, Father, there will be fruitfulness in Nigeria. Nigeria will flourish again. Nigeria will know peace. Nigeria will know, have rest. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be healing. There will be healing in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, God's love will be free in the nation of Nigeria. The heavens will open over Nigeria one more time. In the name of Jesus, there will be growth. There will be advancement. There will be enlargement. There will be surplus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord will heal the nation of Nigeria as he gives to us God's follower, as God gives to us chosen leaders, those leaders that are chosen, those godly leaders, those leaders that are followers of God, those leaders that have been tested, they are tested and we know what they can do. God is giving us good leaders in Nigeria. God will give Nigeria a visionary leader, a visionary leader. A leader can only lead people as far as he too can see. Father, we cry unto you for a visionary leader, a compassionate leader, a servant leader, a leader that is in, that, that we understand the feelings of the people. Father, we receive will receive a transformational leader, a leader that will transform Nigeria from the current state of reproach and bring Nigeria to a place of flourishing, a, a, place, a, a place where Nigeria will be, where we will be proud that we are Nigerians. In the name of Jesus, we receive a leader of integrity, leaders of integrity, passionate leaders, passionate leaders, passionate leaders, the leader that will feel what the what 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 Nigerians are feeling. The leader that will understand what is happening. A body bearer, a body bearer leader who is able to carry burden. Ah, Father, will receive in the name of Jesus Christ. A body bearer is a leader that is able to share in the body of his people. We receive those leaders. In the name of Jesus, we receive responsible leader, a responsible leader, a courageous leader. Father, we receive them. We receive them in the name of the Lord Jesus, a spirit-controlled leader, a righteous leader, a spirit-controlled leader. Father, we receive them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a leader that will manifest the purpose of God for Nigeria and for Nigerians. Father, we receive them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Father, there is nothing too hard for you to do. There is nothing you cannot settle. Father, settle Nigeria. Let every unsettled cases in Nigeria be settled. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let every unsettled cases in Nigeria be settled. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, you will do a new thing. Father, you will do a new thing. In Nigeria, we proclaim your freedom. We proclaim your freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will do a new thing. You will do a new thing. Men will see it. We will see it. Men will see it. And they will bless the name of the Lord for the nation of Nigeria. Father, we await, oh Lord, what you are set to do. We cooperate with your agenda. We cooperate with your agenda. We cooperate with your mandate over the nation of Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, do a new thing. Do wondrous things. Do wondrous things in the nation of Nigeria. Show your marvelous kindness and tender message over the nation of Nigeria. You have done it before. You can do it again. Nothing is impossible for you to do. Nothing is impossible for you to do. What you cannot settle does not exist. What you cannot settle does not exist. Father, settle the case of Nigeria. Let every unsettled issues in Nigeria be settled in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus. Deliver Nigeria, O oh Lord. Deliver Nigeria, O oh Lord, from the hand of the oppressors, from the terrorists, from those that have made up their mind to scatter Nigeria. Oh Lord, deliver Nigeria. Who can battle with the Lord? No one can battle with the Lord. You are ruling, you are in charge, you are in control over the nation of Nigeria. What can you not do? What can you not do? The Lord that doeth all things. Father, we declare your counsel shall stand. Your counsel shall stand. Your counsel shall stand. Your counsel shall stand. Your purpose will stand. Your plans will stand. Oh, God of heaven and earth, you will do what you have promised to do for your nation, Nigeria. No one will thwart it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will deliver Nigeria 
from the hand of the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, those that have purpose in their heart to continue to perpetrate evil, Father, you will deliver Nigeria. Father, you will deliver Nigeria. Father, you will deliver Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will deliver Nigeria. You will deliver Nigeria. You will deliver Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is time for our freedom. It is time for us to cross to our Canaan land. It is time for us to cross to our Canaan land. Father, do it for us. Father, do it for us. Father, do it for us. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing that is impossible. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. We're still praying for Nigeria. And that's why right now, all over the world, Nigerians, we all, we have decided to raise up altar of intercession for Nigeria across the length and breadth of the world. And I'm praying that God will answer us quickly in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are set for freedom. We have made up our mind. We want to leave Egypt. We are tired of every spirit of oppression. And we want, we are saying we want to go out. We want to come out of every oppressor. We want to go and serve our God. Hallelujah. The book of Proverbs chapter 6, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 5 says, Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Deliver thyself as a roe from the, as a roe from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Ah, one of the versions, uh, one of the versions in the Bible says, give your ears, okay, let me read from verse four. It said, give not, I'm reading KJV, King, King James Version, King James Version, hallelujah. King James Version of Proverbs chapter six from verse four to five says, give not sleep to thy eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. It says, give not sleep to thy eyes. And that's what is happening everywhere, all over. Intercessors, people are, people are voluntarily, they, 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 they have purpose in their heart to raise prayers for Nigeria 24-7. The Bible speaking, it says, give your eyes no sleep. Give your eyes no sleep. Praise the Lord. Complete Jewish Bible version. That's what I'm reading. Give your eyes no sleep. Give your eyelids no rest. Break free like a gazelle from the hunter's trap, like a bird from the grip of the fowler. And that is what is happening all over Nigeria, both inside and outside Nigeria. The awareness is there. We want to be free. We are tired of oppression. We are tired. We want to come out of Egypt. We want to go to our Canaan land. And that's why you have seen a lot of intercessors rising up, praying for Nigeria 24-7. We will not give our eyes to sleep. We will not give our eyelid to rest. We want to break free. We want to break free from every spirit of hunter from every power of fowler, we want to break free. So tonight we are going to declare, Father, deliver us, O Lord, as we take responsibility, as we make up our mind, as we renew our mind, as we are set for freedom. Father, deliver us up. Deliver us from every oppressors. Deliver us from every oppressors. Deliver us, set us free, O Lord, from the grip of hunters, from the grip of hunters. Deliver Nigeria as a country. Deliver Nigerians as citizens from the grip of hunters. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your right hand that do it valiantly. Deliver us. Deliver us. Bring us out. Let us loose from the grip of hunters. Set us free from the grip of hunters. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, deliver us. Father, deliver us. The children, of Egypt, the children of Israel, they cried unto you when they were in, in Egypt. Exodus chapter 3, the Bible says you heard their groaning. Father, let it please you to hear our groaning. Attend to our cry. Attend to our cry. We say enough is enough. We say enough is enough. We say enough is enough. Set us free. Deliver us, O Lord, 
in the name of Jesus. The book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, but the God of all grace, who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After ye have suffered a while, <laughs> we have suffered a while in Nigeria. We have suffered a while, even it's more than a while. Ah, it is time for us to be out of this suffering. We are tired of suffering in the name of Jesus. It says, make you perfect, Est establish, strengthen, and set to you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. But the God of all grace, that is our God. The God that can give grace to all men. As we ask for his grace, grace for freedom, grace for us to be to, 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 to receive our freedom, grace for us to, to be liberated from the grip of hunters. Father, we receive that grace in the name of Jesus. He said, but the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After ye have suffered a while, we have suffered a while, make you perfect. God is bringing us into the realm of perfection in the name of Jesus. As we come out of Egypt, God is bringing us to the realm of perfection, where the fear of the Lord will be the order of the day, where righteousness and holiness will be the order of the day. In the name of Jesus, where God will make every imperfection to be perfect, where God will make things to work out to the goodness of, of, of his people. God is taking Nigeria as a country and Nigerian to a state of perfection, to a state of rest, to a state of peace, into a state of safety, no more insecurity. As we are going into 2023, as God choose good leaders for us, and as we take our own responsibility to go out and vote, and vote according to the fear of the Lord, vote according to the plan and purpose, not being intimidated by any group of people. As we do our own side of the story, as God, as God support us, as God releases grace upon our lives, he is taking Nigeria and Nigerians to a place of perfection in the name of Jesus, to a place of safety, to a place of rest that every unsettled issues shall be settled in the name of Jesus. Whatever has taken rest, peace, and security, safety away from Nigeria, God is addressing it, and God is restoring the glory of Nigeria. Nigeria will be at peace. Nigeria will enjoy rest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, after you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and settle you. That is the realm that God is taking us to. What God cannot settle does not exist. What God cannot settle does not exist. Concerning the issue of Nigeria, concerning the nation of Nigeria, God will settle every unsettled issues. Every unsettled issues, every unsettled situation in Nigeria, be it in the political realm, in the economic realm, in every first set of Nigeria shall be settled. The right hand of the Lord that dwelt valiantly is taking over, is taking over in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will be strengthened again. Nigeria will be strengthened again. God is taking Nigeria to the realm of enlightenment and advancement in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will settle Nigeria. The Lord will settle Nigeria. To him be the glory. To him be the dominion forever and ever. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to still pray for Nigeria. Father, set to every storm, every storm in Nigeria. Lord, let it receive your divine settlement. Let every unsettled issues receive your divine settlement. Nigeria as a country, Nigerians as citizens, we are overdue for testimonies. We have suffered a while. The Bible says after you have suffered a while, not after you continue to suffer every day, this suffering must come to an end. Father, we are overdue for testimonies. Father, by your mercy, let it please you to settle Nigeria. Let it please you to settle Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Do not allow this suffering to continue. People are suffering. Bring an end to suffering, oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring an end to suffering. You are a gracious God. You are the God of all grace. Give perfection. Strengthen Nigeria. 
perfect all that concerned Nigeria and said to every issue, in the mighty name of Jesus, disappoint the devices of the crafty. Those, that, those devices in the heart of men that is not of your purpose for Nigeria, let it be utterly, let it be disappointed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Said to Nigeria, Lord, said to Nigeria, in every area where Nigeria, in every area where Nigeria needs settlement, Father, let there be settlement. Let there be divine settlement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be divine settlement in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say to Nigeria, O oh Lord, say to Nigeria, there is nothing you cannot do. What God cannot settle does not exist. Concerning Nigeria, there will be divine settlement. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria will know peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just few more prayers and I ran off for tonight. We are going to cry for help. We're going to cry unto God for help. We're going to cry unto God that God will send forth help unto us. Help from above. Help from God will be our portion. God will send forth help, necessary help, help that is needed right now in Nigeria, strategic help, on time help. God will send it to Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nigeria will not be helpless. God will steer the hearts of nations to show Nigeria help in the name of Jesus to come out and rescue Nigeria. Join forces together to rescue Nigeria from the hand of the oppressors. God will send help unto Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Zechariah chapter 6 verse 4. Zechariah chapter, chapter 4 verse 6. The book of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. He says, then he answered and spake unto me, saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, not by, not by might, nor by power, but my spirit, say, say the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain, before, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and it shall bring forth the stone thereof with shouting, crying grace and grace, grace, grace unto it. Amen. We receive grace for help in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are making, we are, we are asking God to show forth help unto the nation of Nigeria that it is, it, it is, it is so frustrating when every, every, every form of human help that Nigerians uh, that they have tried in order to overcome all the evil going on in Nigeria has been has been has been has been without result. And it has gotten to that stage where we need to cry out to God for help and that nations will arise to help Nigeria. Nations will arise to help Nigeria. As God arises to help us, the Lord will put it in the heart of nations to arise and help Nigeria. That Nigeria will come out of every unprofitable agenda. We are going to cry unto God, Lord, send forth your help, especially in the area of security. Lives are being threatened day by day. Many lives are being destroyed day by day. And I'm sure the government of Nigeria has no clue on what to do. It is time for them to cry out for help. On this altar, on behalf of the nation of Nigeria, Father, we cry unto you for help. Send forth help unto us. Send forth help unto us. Help, Lord. We need your help. We need your help. Let help be released unto us. Send forth help unto Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in need of your help, Father. We need your help. We have tried in our own little way, but it has amount to nothing. Father, send forth help. Help from above. Help from other nations to rescue Nigeria from this state of insecurity. Father, send forth help. Send forth help. Let help comes from above. Let help comes from above. 
Lord, send forth help. We need your help, O oh Lord. We need your help, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. We are helpless. Send forth your help unto us. Send forth your help unto us. Father, we need your help. We need the appropriate help, the timely help that would take Nigeria out of the state of insecurity. Father, send forth your appropriate help. Send forth your appropriate help in the name of Jesus Christ. Send forth your appropriate help. Father, we cry out for help, O oh Lord. Help us as a nation. 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 Father, we cry for your help. Send forth help from above. Send forth help from above. Send forth help from above. We need your help, O oh Lord. Arise and help us. Arise and help us in this, on this matter. Arise and help us concerning the situation in Nigeria. Arise and help us. Father, we need your help. 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 Lord, we need your help. Lord, we need your help. Father, arise and help us. Father, arise and help us. Send forth your help unto us. Psalm 44, verse 26. It says, arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. Father, for thy mercy's sake, redeem Nigeria as a country. Redeem Nigeria, O so Lord from the hand of those that have vowed and proposed to kill Nigerians. Father, redeem Nigeria, O oh Lord, from every pit of destruction. Arise for our help, O oh Lord. Arise for our help, O oh Lord. Help us, Father. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us, Father. Arise for our help. Release your angels, O oh Lord. Release your angels, O oh Lord, to take over and take charge every entry point in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise for our help. Arise for our help. Father, we cry unto you. Father, arise for our help. Oh Lord, arise for our help. Send forth help, oh Lord. Send forth help, oh Lord. Release help, oh Lord, unto Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise for our help. Arise for our help. Oh God of heaven and earth, arise for our help. You delivered Moses and the children of Israel, so that they escaped from Egypt on Ham. Father, we are the seed of Abraham. Arise for our help in Nigeria. Arise for our help in Nigeria. Deliver Nigeria from every power of terrorism. Father, deliver Nigeria from every power of terrorism. Deliver Nigeria from every insecurity. Arise for our help, O oh Lord. Arise from our help, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, please do not forsake us. Do not leave us or forsake us. Arise for our help. Arise for our help. Arise for our help. In the name of Jesus, for Nigeria and Nigerians, we choose life. We choose deliverance. We choose safety. We choose peace. We choose rest. Father, arise for our help. Arise for our help. Oh, Father, you said in your word in Psalm 91 that you have commanded your angels to take charge of us in all our ways. Father, let there be release of your angels. Let there be release of your angels over the nation of Nigeria to protect the citizens of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, arise for our help. Father, arise for our help. Arise for our help in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, do not abandon us in the hand of the terrorists. In the name of Jesus, let there be national protection. Let there be national protection. We ask for your divine protection and preservation over Nigerians and Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the safety of every man, the safety of every woman, the safety of every child in Nigeria. Arise for our help, O oh Lord. Arise for our help. In the name of Jesus Christ, keep us, O oh Lord. Keep Nigerians from harm. Provide your divine protection in the name of Jesus. Deliver Nigeria from every plans of destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every plans of destruction that the enemies of Nigeria have plotted. Father, deliver Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Stop every strategies of destruction against Nigerian citizens, against the nation of Nigeria. Father, we cry on this altar. Arise for our help. 
arise for our help in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, please, we lift up these present leaders in Nigeria. Please, Lord, in your mercy, give them wisdom. Give them understanding. Give them discernment of spirit to know what to do to secure the people of Nigeria and the destinies of Nigeria. Father, arise, O Lord. Touch the heart of our leaders. And if there is any leader that is offering evil against the nation of Nigeria, expose and disgrace them. For those, but for those that are ready to work, O Lord, Father, grant them wisdom. Grant them understanding to know what to do in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise, oh Lord, arise for Nigeria. Arise for Nigerians. Redeem us from every destruction. Redeem us from every calamity. Redeem us from all evil. Redeem us from the power of terrorists. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Arise, oh Lord, arise, oh Lord. Make Nigeria a safe place to live. Make Nigeria a safe place to live again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, make Nigeria a safe place to live. Let Nigerians enjoy freedom. Let them experience safety. In the name of Jesus, without fear of terror, without fear of intimidation, make Nigeria a place to live again. Arise, O oh Lord. We cover Nigeria by the precious blood of Jesus. We cover Nigeria by the precious blood of Jesus. We cover Nigeria by the precious blood of Jesus. Let your blood speak over Nigeria. Lord, let your blood speak over Nigeria. Surround Nigeria, oh Lord, with your wall of fire. Make Nigeria to be too hard for the enemies to handle again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make Nigeria a safe place to live again. In the name of Jesus. Arise, oh Lord. Protect all the families. All the families, oh Lord. Protect every man, every woman, every child in the nation of Nigeria. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Bring an end to every destructive forces of terrorism in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring an end to every, every destructive forces of terrorism in Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Provide protection, O oh Lord, from all evil attacks. Provide protection, O oh Lord, from every wickedness of the wicked. Father, arise and help Nigeria. Redeem Nigeria from all destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, arise and help Nigeria. And Lord, put an end, O oh Lord, to this terrorism. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is making men and women, children, fathers and mothers to become a coward in their own nation. Father, put an end to it. In the name of Jesus, whatever is against the peace of Nigerians, right in Nigeria as a, in Nigerian nation, Father, please put an end to it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come against every spirit of fear that is being released in the atmosphere. We, we counter it with the spirit of faith. We declare the Lord God of heaven and earth is with us. He will not suffer us to, to, to see evil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare strength we declare courage. We declare wisdom, oh Lord, to, the, to, 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 to Nigerians in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Take over. Take over. Take charge. Let your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord, for what you cannot settle does not exist. What God cannot settle does not exist. Concerning the issue of Nigeria, it is settled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we await the good result. We await to see answers to our prayers. Father, we await the result of answered prayers. We await the result of our fasting in the name of Jesus Christ. Our waiting on you, O Lord, shall not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. You are our strength. You are our very present help in times of trouble. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for you will arise for our help in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon. We return to say, blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Thank you, Father. Mighty God, there is no one like you. We give you praise, O oh Lord, tonight. We return all the glory and honor unto you. And all we thank you because every eye wall of the enemies over the nation of Nigeria 
Father, you have brought it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every eye walls of the enemies confronting the nation of Nigeria. Father, it collapsed before us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That eye wall, eye wall of the enemies, the Lord is bringing it down in the mighty name of Jesus. That's a word for Nigeria. Every eye wall of the enemies confronting Nigeria, the Lord is bringing it down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Bogo di alagbara ati odigiga ni waju Nigeria oluwa biwo in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It shall be so in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We rejoice in you. Thank you, Holy, Holy Father. Thank you, Righteous Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Bless and magnify your name. Thank you, Father. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. Father, we declare open heavens over the nation of Nigeria. Sweet influences from the throne of grace shall be released upon Nigeria with the mandates that is needed to make Nigeria to be a peaceful nation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declared. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Praise God. I want to bless and thank everyone that is part of this program tonight. I say thank you for connecting with us on this platform of RTOD. God bless you. God, together we will see the result of all our prayers over all the nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I say thank you to everyone. God bless us in the name of Jesus. I, I close with this Psalm 91, and I declare this Psalm, this word of the Lord upon us, upon our families, upon our loved ones, upon our various ministries, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare Psalm 91 over our lives, over our loved ones, over all that has to do with us. The Bible says, he who dwells, we are the ones that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. We shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in him will lean and rely on. For he will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover us with his feathers. And under his wing shall we trust and find refuge. His truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler unto us. We shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord our refuge and the Most High our dwelling place. There shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague or calamity come near our dwelling, for he will give his angels charge over us to accompany and defend and preserve us in all our ways. They shall bear us up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the other, the young lion and the, and the dragon shall we trample under our feet because we have set our love upon the Lord. Therefore, the Lord will deliver us. The Lord will set us on high because we have known his name, because we know and understand his name, because we have the knowledge of his mercy, we, because we have known his name. We shall call upon the name of the Lord. He will answer us. The Lord will be with us in trouble. The Lord will deliver us and honor us. With long life will the Lord satisfy us and show us his salvation. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. That is our portion in the name of Jesus. The God of the secret place is our God. He's our strength and our refuge. He will protect us. He will preserve us. He will preserve all our loved ones. No evil shall befall us. As we stand in God for nations, no power of the enemies will be able to prevail over us. The Lord will make us a, a, a fine city in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No amount, no pressure of the enemies will prevail over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every eye wall of the enemies before our lives, the Lord bring it down in the name of Jesus. Because we stand in gap over nations, no power of the enemy will prevail over us. We declare according to the word of the Lord 
The Bible says, for behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. We declare we are a defense city. We are an iron pillar. We are a brazen wall against the whole land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to deliver thee. No power of the enemies will prevail over us in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come under the covering of the blood of Jesus. That blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel. That blood is speaking mercy, preservation, and protection. Our going out and coming in is preserved of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Together, we will see the result of all our prayers over all the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Glory. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week by God's grace. Amen. I hand over back to the coordinators. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.